What is up, YouTube? That's here, bringing you guys another episode of In a Twinge. It's been a hot minute since I've done an episode in this series, and now that we finally have our new overlay, now that I finally have my new computer situated, we got everything the way it's supposed to be. I mean, I'm still working on the webcam a little bit, but I mean, now that we have everything completely situated, I can start making, you know, correct battle spot content that is produced for you guys instead of just exclusively stream highlights. So today we're gonna be using a pretty cool QR team. We are gonna be using an all Firestarter QR team. We're going to be using Charizard Y, we're going to be using Choice Specs Type Potion, we're going to be using Grassium Z Blaziken, that's right, Grassium Z Blaziken, we're going to be using, what is the item on this Infernape, we're going to be using Life Orb Infernape, Focus Sash Delphox, I love Delphox, you have to see me use it recently, and we're using the Incinium Z Incineroar, very, very cool set, couple of Z moves, pretty obvious, well, maybe not pretty obvious Mega, but it's Charizard Y is probably the best Mega for a all Fire Starter Sun team, so hopefully you guys like this team. You guys know some of these are some of my favorite Pokemon. I love Charizard. I love Typhlosion. Delphox Blaze against some of my favorites. I'm not that big of a fan of Incineroar and Infernape, but I mean, they're the two fake outers in the team, so they're probably going to be pretty important. So, hopefully you guys like this stuff. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this type of team in the comments below. I'll be leaving a link to the QR code that I used in there. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Hopefully you guys are excited about these games as I am. We're going to hop right into it. Here we go. Alright, our very first game is going to be going up against Eddie. He's using Rotom Wash, Aegis Slash, Tapu Lele, Ninetales. Now, I just want to say I actually really, really still like Tapu Lele and Ninetales. They're one of my favorite VGC 2017 cores. Go for that Scarf Lele Dazzling Gleam and then follow up with a Blizzard. Tons of AOA, really good stuff. We're also going to be, be seeing Landorus and Blacephalon. Very, very solid team. I'm wondering how we really get around this. I like the Rotom Washes addition to this team. It gives it a whole nother dynamic. Gotta watch out for ally switch on that guy. Let's see. He's already locked in. He's pretty ready to go. Do we have a Choice Scarf user? I'd love a Choice Scarf user so I could just beat that, uh... So I just beat that lander if I have to. I do not have a Choice Scarf user. Alright, we gotta go Charizard, right? We, can, we gotta go Charizard. Charizard's pretty good. So we're gonna be going to Charizard Blaziken, I think. I think it's probably a good idea to follow it up with Blacephalon. Just literally... Sorry, not Blacephalon. I mean... I wish I had a stuff on. That'd be a pretty good fire type to have. But we're going to follow up with Typhlosion, my boy. And I'm looking at Delphox. And it's just that Delphox has Sunny Day. And I think that might actually be pretty useful. But I'm still looking around. Maybe Inferno. I think Inferno is probably the best last bet. Inferno is actually not too terrible. Actually, Inferno is hot garbage. <laughs> Inferno is hot garbage. Oh, man. Uh, and I think, I think Delphox is just a little bit better, just because of the Sash. It's just the Sash. Sashes are pretty important. Delphox kinda needs it, so here we go, going into the game. Let's see if he brought that pesky Rotom. Rotom's gonna be a pain in my side. Let's see if I can actually deal with it. Hopefully I can. Hopefully everything just gets melted by Typhlosion. That's what I'm all about. Like, Typhlosion popping those massive eruptions. That's what I want to see. So, Charizard Blaziken starting off. I'm expecting to see a Landorus. And uh, if we do, we're just going to double protect. There's the Landorus right there. He's probably going to be going for, like, you know, maybe Earthquake, Thunderbolt. That's really what I'm, I'm getting a vibe of here. Maybe Rock Slide, Thunderbolt, and then going my Blaziken. Remember, we got Solar Beam on both of these guys. So, all we really get to do is play a little bit patient. We should be able to... Should be fine. We're just going to double protect this first turn. We're not going to Mega Evolve yet because we want to wait till he brings in the Ninetales to Mega Evolve. I just realized, look at this Blaziken. Look at this. doesn't have a fire attack. I think it's HP Ice, which is actually even better for the situation. So we're just going to HP Ice the Lander next turn. And then I might have to Z or Mega Evolve with Charizard and Solar Beam as Rotom. Ooh, but what happens if he ally switches me? Oh, that'd be pretty messed up. That'd be pretty messed up. But we're going to protect with Blaziken. Obviously, first thing protecting. So unless that Lander was protecting... Which I doubt it. I really think it's a Scarf Lando. I was going to say, Blaze can speed tearing lets it go first. Yeah, Rock Slide? Rock, that is not a Scarf Lando, my guy. Sorry, that's not a that's not a regular round. That's totally Scarfed. And we do see the Thunderbolt. Oh, this guy's crazy. You guys think he's going to ally switch? What do you guys think? Chat, come on. We're not chat. You guys aren't chat. You guys are viewers. You guys expect the Scarf Lando. Are you guys going to... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to go for the Solar Beam. Solar Beam that Rotom right up. And uh, it's HP Ice time. Hopefully this is HP Ice, right? What do you guys think? Ally switch Rotom? Yes or no? And, uh, he's staying in with everything. That means he has to be ally switch, right? He has to be ally switch. There's, like, no other reason why you would stay in. Maybe he's U-turning or something? Or he'd still be getting hit by the HP ice. Maybe HP ice isn't enough to KO it. Maybe he's EV trained really awkwardly. Nope, he's just trying to fight it. He has a Yachi Berry. That's, like, all of the above bad problems for me. He's not Scarfed, then. He's just not Scarfed. He was just... That was just his play. 
And you guys are actually faster than my Zard. No, no Charizard, dude. Extra thick Charizard. What is this Eevee spread? No flinch, please. Solar beam coming in. No flinch. We're gonna be solar beam in that Rotom. Hopefully, he can take it out. But like, no promises. Like, remember, I don't know that much about these Eevee spreads. This is totally a QR team. And I'm probably using like a modest Zard, and that's probably like a Jolly Land. That's the best that I can assume. Because we still had enough investment to take out a Rotom, which means we have a lot in special attack because we don't stab that Solar Beam. So I'd say we're in a good spot. Um, Wanderers has shown its item. Rotom is gone. He could totally come in with like Nine Tails here, but I'm just I would just switch out. Ooh, Blacephalon. I don't can't really hit that that well, can I? Like it's a Fire Ghost, right? Dude, are we gonna overheat it? I don't even have overheat. <laughs> Alright, I got an idea. We're just going to pop a Tailwind here. We're actually going to pop a Tailwind and just a regular Protect. And then I'm going to send out that big High Flosion, boys. High Flosion's about to be coming out soon. Given that massive eruption in the sun with a Tailwind. That's what I'm talking about here. So we're going to lose Charizard, most likely. Um, I don't want to get Protect baited. And the Bocephalon more than likely has the Scarf. So I don't want to, like, go for an HP on the Lando. Uh, Lando goes for Protect, he goes for like a Mind Blow and he gets a double KO. I don't want to deal with that. So we're just protecting Blaziken. We're going to cut our losses if he just goes for a Shadow Ball. There's the Shadow Ball right there. And he goes for the Rock Slide with Landorus. That's totally fine. Like, I really don't have that much of a problem with it. Because like I said, I really think that's a Scarf with Cephalon. And it looks like he's locked himself into Shadow Ball. He's made that his life decision is to go for that Shadow Ball. So I think we're going to be okay here. There we go. Speed Boost popping up. I'm pretty quick right now. I'm pretty quick. Here we go. This is it, boys. Eruption. Massive eruption. So we're just going to be able to HP to that Lando. If he wants to protect Lando and attack me with the Bacephalon, he'd be taking just a, a huge amount of damage from this eruption. And uh, we're going to go with the HP Ice. I mean, I could nuke the Bacephalon expecting him to protect Lando. And I probably should. I probably should. But I don't want to get Earthquake. He might actually just protect Bacephalon. I was going to say, like, this is why I'm keeping him honest. Like, I'm just keeping him honest at this point. I'll trade Blaziken for Lando. And, you know, he also is going to take huge single target eruption. Like, he might actually just get one-shotted. I'm not even kidding. He might actually get one-shotted. It's single target <laughs> eruption in the sun. I know you resist it. I know you're an Ultra Beast. But, my guy, I am a Typhlosion. I bring the damage. Dude, look at that massive eruption, getting that one shot. One shot, boys. Whew. Doesn't get much bigger than that. It really, realistically, it does not get much bigger than that right there, ladies and gentlemen. So Top Lily is going to be out here. Another Pokemon is a high candidate for Scarf, but I really do think that the Bless F1 was the Scarf user. It, I think we I think we got this one. We got Delphox. Remember, we got a Sash Delphox. Dude, thank you for the Staggy Train, by the way. Even if I, if I wanted to use a Psychic type move, it would be power boosted. But we're gonna pop that eruption, and Delbox has overheat as well, right? Oh, Fire Blast. All right, well, that also works as long as I hit one of the three turns I have to hit with it. Remember, Delbox has base 100 speed. I think maybe it's like 101, but it's just a little bit faster than Lele. So yeah, we're gonna be faster here, and we're gonna be firing off a huge fire boosted. Oh, dude, double fire, fire everything. Everything's on fire. Oh my goodness, so much, so much fuego. But uh, yeah, it looks like it was a really bulky Lele because he ate the Fire Blast from our Delbox in the sun and. Delphox is actually pretty strong. So we're going to take that first game. Oh, man. There were so many potential Scarf users. He really brought a team of potential Scarf users. And we somehow managed to go first almost every single turn. So that's pretty cool. All right. We're going into game two. We're going to see Porygon 2. We're going to see Tapu Fini, Garchomp, Coco, Charizard, and Uxi. Now, Uxi is a Pokemon you guys have seen me use before in previous In It to Winja episodes. This guy's already locked in. I used to use it with Z in prison and, like, ally switch memes and stuff like that. So, gotta watch out for that. Tapu Fini is going to be a little bit of a problem. But remember, guys. Remember. We are most definitely packing that, like, Grassium Z Blaziken. Like, whew, I'm so ready. I think I'm going to actually just go, like, Zard Blaziken again. And if he leads with Coco, I might just double protect. Now, we auto-lose to, like, Garchomp. I'm going to actually bring Infernape here. Infernape's a little bit better here. Is it? It's not even. It's not. It's just not. Typhlosion's still coming. And uh, Delphox. Same crew. Like I said, I don't I don't like Infernape and I don't like Incineroar. I like all the other starters. Don't like monkeys. And I wish Incineroar wasn't a wrestling Pokemon. I wish Incineroar just stayed on four legs. I think that'd be way cooler. I know I'm in the minority there, probably. Everyone likes Incineroar. I don't. 
I like Delphox much more. I mean, I wish I wish Delphox would have stayed on Foix too. I thought Fennekin was one of my favorite starters, but oh well, oh well. So Charizard Blaze can start things off again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here we go. And uh, Uxie Zard, dude, what is up this guy's sleeve? Do you think he's gonna go like Zard X? Do you think he's gonna go for an ally switch? I mean, realistically, I cannot break that Uxie. Is he, is he running a Trick Roomish type of team? He is running a little bit of Trick Roomy. I mean, do I even care about that Uxie? Like, I can flamethrower the Uxie. I'll do a little bit, and then I don't think that the HP... I'm oh, sorry, the, the Grassy MZ will Bloom Doom will pop it. I'm going to try it. Let's just try it. Here we go. Big damage. I want to be popping that Bloom Doom Blaziken. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's switching out. He's going to Feeny. Oh, it's going to be Coco. Is he trick rooming? I don't think he... Maybe he's ally switching. That'd be freaking hilarious. <laughs> just like switching your Coco into absolute, like, death. I would take that. So we're going Mega. Maybe he didn't want to take that solar power damage on his Zard from protecting. I don't know. I think we're in a pretty decent spot. Like, what is he going to do? White screen? What's it realistically going to do? So is Charizard going to pop that drought? And uh, let's see what he goes for. I mean, looks like he's eating the solar beam. Right now, he's probably like, questioning his life choice. He's like, wait, what? What do you mean, Grassium Z Blaziken? So sick. So sick. I love it. Bloom Doom Blaziken. Popping this thing off. Let's see how much damage this does. I'd like this to do almost half. I know that's incredibly greedy. That's that's almost as much as I would have... Is that an eject button? Red card! Okay. I mean, I'll take this. Yeah. Sounds good. Now, I think this might actually just be stronger because it's boosted by the sun and stabbed. Yep, cool. And we get the crit. Let's actually take a sec to think about that. Uh, Solar Beam, 120. Probably a 190 base Z move because it's not stabbed. Flamethrower is a 95 in the sun and stabbed doubles to exactly 190, so I actually think I needed that crit. I actually really think I needed the crit. I think they're exactly the same strengths. If I'm not mistaken, I'm totally just free, free ball in this here. Like, stab plus sun doubles the power of a 90. Oh, yeah, save nerf him if there's a 90. Only is the 180. It might actually have been 10 power weaker. Okay. Let's think about how I want to do this. We're actually just going to protect with Dard and just go for a big Fire Blast onto that type of Coco. So to draw on the Fiend, he does not want to eat a Solar Beam. He really doesn't want to. Switches in his own Zard to block Solar Beam. I I think that means it's Specs Fiend. That has to be Specs Fiend then. Like, why else would you switch it instead of just using Protect? So I'm going to see probably a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt. Oh, did I miss? Did I miss my Fire Blast? Wait, why am I faster than his Coco? Question mark? I mean, if I'm just faster than his Coco, then... We're just going to do it again. Here we go. We got to hit one of these fire blasts. Maybe he's using a Sash Coco. Maybe he has no fear. Now let's try it. Fire Blast. We're one for one for two here. Big damage. Big damage from Del Fox. And uh, we're flamethrowing into a Zard. Note that he didn't Mega. He hasn't mega yet. Right? Let's see the damage. That's, that's almost within range for Psychic, in my opinion. He's coming with the flamethrower of his own. Maybe he's solar power boosted? We're going to see. If he does a lot more to me, that doesn't look like solar power to me. That's totally a blaze zard that will not mega. He didn't mega with something, right? I'm, I'm not mistaking this. He loved like Uxie. All right, we're going to get this Feeny off the board. We're going to solar beam the top of Feeny. We're going to ignore that Charizard because Charizard is not... Uh, he's not being a team player right now. He's not being a team player, that's for sure. So here we go. Maybe he thought I was going to switch. I should have switched Typhlosion and get that Flash Fire boost, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, he's finally going to go Y. And uh, remember, it's not really going to change any aspect of the sun, because Drought's already active, so all he's realistically doing here is just gaining the small boost to Special D that he goes when he goes into Charizard Y over Charizard X. So he should have done that last turn, but it's whatever. So Psychic's going to be coming into the Feeny. Not a ton of damage, but it's going to be enough for Solar Beam to pick up the KO, because that Feeny is incredibly weak. It's taken... Almost half from like a psychic from a Delphox. And sure, it's stabbed, but it's not like it's super effective. So, Solar Beam will most definitely be able to pick up that KO. And I can say without a doubt that it's a Specs Fiend. He didn't show Protect. He switched whenever he could. He's popping the Blast Burn in the sun. Is he going to pick up the KO? Are you picking up the KO? Nah, dude. Blast Burn Charizard Y. Dude, that's pretty sick. But I don't know how I feel about that one. Blast Burn's pretty good. 
but it's not going to be good enough. We're just going to go for a Psychic and a Flamethrower of our own, and we should be able to pick up the KO on the Charizard, getting us... Is that a, is that a four stock? I'll, I'll take the four stock once they give it to me. Oh, oh, we got a special D-drop, dude, I needed that. Like, look, the Flash Flamethrower did about that much, and that was before he got his special D-boost, so... We speed things up just a little bit, you would have been recharging that turn, but you know, the game has my back, it gives me the little bit of hacks, it's those, uh, those slice of life hacks, those like quality of life improvements with a special D-drop, but good, good looking out, good looking out, Battle Spot, appreciate it.